there, my dudes. How's it going? I am just on my way to work. It has been a busy, busy morning. <laughs> my arm is already tired from holding up my camera. <laughs> and these, like, what was it, 15 seconds I've been holding the camera? <laughs> oh my goodness. I went to kickboxing again this morning and I am already tremendously sore. I woke up this morning and like one of my legs hurt and one of my shoulders hurt uh, just like a little bit, barely anything from yesterday's workout. And so I debated whether or not it would be a good idea for me to go today. Hold on a second. All right. I ended up deciding to go ahead and go this morning because I wasn't too terribly sore, so it wasn't really like I couldn't go. <sighs> and I was feeling a little stressed this morning and I just wanted to go punch some punching bags. So I went to kickboxing and it was great. It was a really good workout today. I didn't feel like totally miserable when I was done. Like I was exhausted and dripping sweat, but I don't know. I'm getting, getting the hang of things. I met the third trainer this morning. So every time I've gone, I've met somebody new, like as far as the trainers go. So I'm not really sure how many trainers work at the place I'm going to, but they're all super nice and super helpful and like walk you through everything. And I really, really like it there. I think this is gonna be, I don't wanna like speak too soon, but I think this is gonna be the thing for me. Like the thing that gets me to keep working out. I think kickboxing is going to be that thing because it's just like, it's such a thrill to punch something. I don't know if anybody else understands what I'm talking about, but it's just, it feels good to punch something. <laughs> Breaking news. Chipotle has queso. Yes. Wait, did you get any queso in yours? No. Look at that healthy salad. I didn't even know if this or what. It's Chez. Did you get it? Show me that case of juice. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> All right, it is officially time to do the Halloween decorating. Matt's in the background playing video games. <laughs> All right, first thing I have is my strobe light. <laughs> I don't actually end up using this for anything. Oh, by the way, you are on um, Zabu's cat tower and he's a little peeved about what I'm doing near his his space. So he keeps shaking you. <laughs> anyway, okay, box number one. Oh, very nice. I got a nice, nice little doormat. The witch is in. I need to wash this. It got a little gross last year. Whoops. All right, what else do we have? Ooh, big, huge spidey. Oh, this is one of my favorite things. Maybe if I can get it. There's something inside of it. Wow. Okay. I have this cute little tin box. Isn't that cool? I love it. I have a plethora of creepy scarecrow dolls. These are all from my mom. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's where I got all of these. Another one, and another one, and another one. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait. Oh, the worst thing ever. A demon bird. <laughs> I don't know if I've shared this with you guys or not yet, but I hate birds. Like, deeply and truly, they freak me out. I do not like birds, but it's Halloween, so he stays. Yeah, well, Ooh, these are fun. Some pumpkin lights. They're so cute. I love them. I have this cute little <laughs> pumpkin bucket. I think I usually stick all of my scarecrows in here. Whoa. Oh, it broke. I have a cute little boo sign. Ooh, this is one of my favorites. So my uncle got this lantern, but the light inside didn't work, so he gave it to me, and I just jammed a bunch of lights in it, so now it works great. Actually, I jammed a bunch of lights that only half worked into it, but it still looks fine, I'll show you. See? 
look, you can't tell. All the lights on the insides are the ones that don't work, so distraction. <laughs> this guy is fun. I won't be able to show you very well until it's actually up on the door, but this goes on my bedroom door and it actually like has a sensor on it. So, creepy demon eyes. <gasps> Classic pumpkin carving kit. I don't actually think I carved a pumpkin so last year. I didn't. Okay, this year we are carving a pumpkin, 100%. Look at how cute they are. Oh, I love them. You put little candles in the back and then their eyes sparkle. He needs to be assembled. All of his parts are falling apart. I'll show you him when he's assembled better, but I got a creepy guy. <laughs> Ooh, this is one of my favorite things. I feel like I keep saying that about everything. I got this at Universal in the um, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Look at how cool that is. He can like see through it, but it's like smoky and purple. <gasps> Obsessed with him. Got some uh, standard Halloween tinsel. Oh, got this nice little, little thing. Some more Halloween tinsel. I found it. Now, where'd the pumpkin go? Oh, there he is. The pumpkin with this little lid. It's not on there, right? How do you go on there? How do you go on there? There it is. Boom. And ooh, all of my Halloween lights that I string around everywhere. Got some candy corn ones and just some regular orange ones. And last in this box is a gross hand towel that needs to be washed. <laughs> it's a little dusty, but it's got some cute little ghosties on it. it says trick or treat. All right, next box. Last year, okay, so this is one of those gigantic ones. But last year, whoa, he kept falling over. Oh, and there goes his head. Wow. There goes his head. Causing trouble, are you? Yeah, I'm making a mess. And here's his body. His body's all wadded up. I'll show you him after I get him all set up because he's the most difficult decoration I have because he's broken, so he doesn't cooperate. <laughs> okay, I think that's everything. Oh, and one last thing. One last thing. Okay, I lied. It's not one last thing. It's like numerous things. Okay, so this is all the new stuff I got this year. Um, so my sweet mommy, got me new hand towels. Look, cute, huh? And then I've already been using this one, so it's all flipped out, but look. <laughs> oh, snap, and his little arm's broken off. <laughs> so adorable. I got those, so that's one new thing. And then the stuff I got this year, I got this creepy little net thing that I have to like string over something. I think I'm going to put it around a mirror, like by where I put the big spider. That's my idea. And then I have this awesome snow globe. Look at how creepy and wonderful. <laughs> and then lastly, my last thing is this like awesome glass pumpkin. Um, it has a really cool swirly top. You can't see the pattern very well because it's so reflective, but it's got this little like marble effect to it. This is like, I think might be my favorite purchase this year. It's like really heavy duty too. Where'd I get this? It's called, it's called the at home store. They had good decorations. All right, I think that is everything. So let's get to decorating. Nope, I totally take that back. I did not realize how long it took me to go through all of my decorations. So <laughs> we will be decorating tomorrow. Um, don't get mad at me, I'm sorry. I didn't know it would take so long to go through everything. Um, I guess I had more than I thought, but I promise we will decorate tomorrow. It's gonna happen. The apartment's gonna look beautiful and glorious. I just don't want this to drag on for too long and bore you. So, if you are new to the channel, subscribe, hang out, check out the video tomorrow to see the whole place decorated. And that is that. I hope you guys had a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, one last little treat for you before you go. Zabu, are you a pretty boy? Oh, look at his cute little collar. He's 
so festive. Oh, now he's getting nosy. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I forgot I found this. I just put it on him. My mom and I found it at uh, TJ Maxx, I think. She got one for her dog, and I got one for Sabu. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He loves a good box. What cat doesn't? All right, guys. Bye.